these guys will surely drop health as long as I'm not foolish about the way I go about battling them. Ugh. Oh yeah, and also, a new helpful piece of information that I've learned. Oh crap, this is gonna kill me. No, no, it didn't. But it did kill... There we go. So a new helpful piece of information that I did to learn was that, um... Ooh. A new helpful piece of... I, I keep on trying to start saying this. A new helpful piece of inf piece of information that I learned was that... So the reason I was struggling the other day with, um... Getting demon fangs properly was because... There we go. That did not do what I wanted it to do. But, uh, it was because I was killing enemies with brush techniques, which you absolutely cannot do. You are not supposed to kill enemies with brush techniques if you want to get a, um... If you want to get a demon fang. Like, the trick is, you have to kill it without your brush technique, and then do your business. Otherwise, you will not- Oh, see, like, I just messed that one up. I killed it habitually with a brush technique because it turned gray, and my brain was just like, do a brush technique, Raktar. But that was the wrong thing to do. So yeah, just remember that. If you want to get demon fangs, don't kill enemies with brush techniques. P.S. Also, I feel like this nut has some significance. But anyways, let's feed these little mon keys really quickly. I think they want seeds. Everything wants seeds, remember? I said it before and I'll say it again. Everything wants seeds. Except for I do believe the significance of this uh, giant walnut. Where'd it go? There we go. I do believe that the significance of the giant walnut has to do with a mini quest of sorts. And I have to push it to the top of this hill. And I also have to do this fight back momentarily. Alright, I just did a quick little cut, um, to show you that the nut, or to tell you that that nut I was rolling up the hill had no significance whatsoever and I just decided I was, like, um, I actually rolled it all the way up the hill before I realized I was like, oh crap, this isn't what I needed to roll up the hill. But it was so rolly and so hilly that it was very easy to confuse, but I actually remembered now why I remember this this little quest being even more frustrating than I thought. Well, firstly, it's because the hit detection on this thing is horrible, but, uh... Look at this. Oh my gosh. I just want to, like, get it in the corner here and, like, kind of roll it near the wall. And it is annoying because you can, of course, roll it off this edge. You may be asking yourself in your head right now, well, what happens if you roll it off the edge, Ragtar? Well, I'm not going to show you, but what happens is it'll just respawn there at the bottom of the hill, so you don't want to do that. And look at this. You run into your old friend, the beast of the beast of Anna Valley. You gotta be kidding me, he went back to sleep. Boy, I sure wish I could sleep like that. Um, this bear, you can follow him through a series of rolling quests. He just kind of pops up in a lot of areas, and basically, every area that he pops up in, you give him a new, um... You give him a new, basically, a new sleeping home. I hesitate to call it his bed, but I mean, come on. What is it? He's... you know, he sleeps on it. It is his bed, right? So yeah, in every area... not every area, but in a lot of areas, you'll run into your old bear friend. He will give you a bed. or He will give him a bed, and he will give you praise. And eventually, I think you'll get a much bigger reward once you've followed him through all the areas. He is like the guy with the sake... um... the guy with the sake jug on his head. Uh... He won't appear in the next area until you've done his thing in the last area. And so here is Kokari, the son of uh, that gentleman that he was all worried about, him and his dog. Oh, hello there, doggy. I'm Kokari. Pleased to meet you. 
I'm like 10, yet my dad wants me to build a bridge. What? This? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now, but there's a reason for that. My dog Ume and I were exploring a secret place the other day, an ancient building known as the Tsutsut, known as the Suda Ruins. I'm just kidding, there's, you don't really pronounce the T. We'd never been able to get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest, but when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Ume had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those ruins. He must be crying, all scared and alone. Why don't you go rescue him? This is no big, no, this is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and went, and went the key. I've tried my hardest to fish back out, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wah! I've tried my hardest to fish out the key to the ruins, but I've lost all my line of hooks. All I have now is this pole. Okay, he's just gonna say the same thing twice. Um... Let's bite him. Ugh. I need to listen to him more, apparently? Oh no. Is he just gonna sit there and cry? What? This is his deal. Man, this kid's a crybaby. Give him a good- okay, headbutt. I should've... It just... Sorry, my first instinct isn't to just go around headbutting kids. But I'm a wolf and dogs do that. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in the dangerous ruins. So you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. But Listen here, kid. Fishing's all about attitude. There's nothing you can't catch with the, with the right attitude. Fish, babes, or whatever. It all can be yours. Go ahead. Act like you're having fun. We'll watch. Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can't see the bottom. But that's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it, a humongous fish swallowed uh, the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true, but to this day, the moon never rises here in Agatha Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Okay, Ami, let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. We'll just make some by drawing a line from the pole to a fish. Alright, so it explains this really quick. Draw a line connecting the fishing pole to the fish can bite. Once you have a hooked fish, move the left stick in the opposite direction of the fish's movement. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of fish out here. Let's just go for this big one first, I suppose. Eh. Pull that. Alright. What? Okay. Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might. You'll just wear yourself out. Just reel it in, nice and slow. So yeah, basically, what you want to do is always pull in the opposite direction that the fish is going, but never wear yourself out, because you'll... Basically, that'll just lose the fish. So, I mean, your real goal... Oh, and then set the line. Oh, okay, I messed it up. I forgot that was coming up, and I was too busy explaining. But yeah, just always pull in the opposite direction the fish is swimming. Never let it get to the red, and that is how you catch fish. But... Alright, and this time I'll do it right because I'll remember to draw. Like, that was totally- sometimes I kind of mess up because I'm totally caught up in, like, what I'm doing. And I don't, uh, remember something that's coming up. I think that's funny, by the way, that that was totally- That was totally fish-shaped in the water there. But I wonder if I can- no, the game won't let me do that. You can tell because when you can draw a line to something in this game, um... Like, when you can draw a line to something in this game, you'll see those, like, uh... Oh, you saw it. You see kind of like the swirly dwirlies in the air around the brush. And so, if it's something you can't really draw a line to, the swirly dwirlies usually won't be there. Oh, and as you can see, now that you've done it three times, suddenly there's a humongous fish! Shit's changed. So, on this one, you really do have to be careful about your, um... You're basically your stamina, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Because this thing will take a little bit longer to pull in. He'll be a little bit more of a biznitch. Oh, and I guess I should also mention, so what happens when you do go into the red? You see that Kokari has a little health meter down there. And what happens when you go into the red is, um... Kokari's health meter will actually go down. And basically, once his health meter goes all the way down, you failed to catch the fish. And here we go! This fish isn't that, ain't that big. 
I think I have to do it. Oh no, you do catch it on the first try. You caught giant salmon. Is this the fish that swallowed the moon? I don't actually know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We'll find out. It is pretty- holy shit! That fish is bigger than a Matarasu. Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? And... Hey! That's... that's the ruins key! Definitely looks like a teardrop. Now I can go save Umehe over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in this time. No, running away from me now. And I like how Amaterasu is just like, Go fuck yourself, kid. You're too young for this job, kid. You gotta leave it to an old codger like me. You'll just get yourself hurt. A lot of lost dog to find in to suit to no, suit ruins. All right. Oh, look. See, now the kid is like hitting me. I took his key. You know what I mean? If you were a smart kid, though, you just follow me back to uh, suit ruins. Ooh. All right. Oh, look at this. We get some nice little land to regenerate here. Bring the natural beauty of the Agata Forest back to its beauty. That didn't. That didn't come out the way I wanted it to. We'll bring the beauty back to the beauty. We'll bring the booty back to the beauty. Alright, cool. And get a little bit of praise for that. Get a ten spot. Maybe feed these rabbits. Get a like a get a like a six spot. Rabbits the only ones that like herbs, actually, those deers. I fed some deers earlier. And they liked herbs too. So eat it. So eat a dick. We get some more of these bad boys. Get some little- oh, you know what? If I had been a champion, I could have bloomed both of them at once. But I didn't. P.S. Uh, it said on screen what that did right there. Exorcism slip just does damage to enemies. It's a reasonably cool item for doing reasonably cool things. Alright, so let's check out as long as I'm here. Let's check out what's inside this hut. I think it's nothing though. I think it'll just be some pots because I think this is their home. And yeah, but I can, well, I haven't upgraded my bag yet, so eating all this food will do nothing for me. Because yeah, you can upgrade your celestial pouch, so you can uh, get like a second celestial pouch, and I think even like maybe a third. All right? Oh, do you see that? Do you see that up there, Lud? Hey, Luddy. If you look, if you look closely through the trees, you can see a bit of light shining out of there. And that, of course calls for the power of celestial cherry bomb super technique oh but it also calls for a technique that I do not have available to me yet so put that on the list of things Rakdar's probably gonna forget no I will remember come back I do actually I probably will just kind of once I get more and more techniques in this game I'll probably come back and do a fair amount of exploration so I can come back and get all these secrets that I missed. Right, and as you can see, this door has the picture of like a teardrop on it. And I have a thing in my... I've got a thing in my thing that has also like a teardrop on it and... Oh, I still can't dig that because I can't do the... I can't do the better dig. Oh, and P.S. Look who the hell is here. Let's go have a little chit-chat and see what he's doing here. Not you again, Fido. Why must you always dog my footsteps? Ah, oh, this is a pun. I'm better at practicing a new secret. A type of monster looks in Taka Pass beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson Something or Other, and it's rumored to have 100 followers. What do you mean, Crimson Something or Other? The name slipped my mind, that's all. Anyway, I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Taka Pass is out, so I rush. But have no fear, once I master that technique, I shall venture forth and slay the beast, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me be, you cur. I have some serious training to do. Okie dokie. So that's about all the deal is with Susano right now. We'll feed these deer, get some more praise. I think I'm actually coming close to another level up. I really do like leveling up my ink, ink pots. But I might invest a little bit of level... Oh, it repointed me back in that direction. Alright, so. Let's see here. 
Yeah, there's not a lot going out here, going on out here in Agatha Forest, so I suppose this would be the proper time to head through that demon gate and kill whatever's inside and maybe do a less crappy job. Alright, we got these bad boys and whoa, he went down fast. Oh, it's because I'm using dude. This, oh, what? What is the deal with that? I killed him the right way and all. And maybe these guys' floral finisher isn't that move? Whatever. Whatever, we'll just get this guy to make myself feel better about life. Alright, shoot him with an ink bullet! Oh, dude. Get out of his little explosive range. Man, I really am. Like, this rosary really does bring the noise against all these enemies. Oh! Oh, yeah. Alright, and floral finish for this guy. Oh, see, that one worked. Why didn't it work with the other ones? I didn't finish them with a brush technique. Oh, whatever. Who cares? I got, I got the demon fang off that guy. And, of course, I restored the natural beauty to this land. And I restored the natural praise to myself. And I'm gonna oh, yeah. restore... Th what was that sound? Oh, yeah. I, like, heard a frog. Or something. Did anybody else hear, like, a ribbit? Oh, yeah. Like a really deep ribbit? Or am I just crazy? I'll have to go back through when I'm editing the recording and see what the hell just happened. But anyways, I digress. Let's head for the actual objective in the game after trying to get some yen and seed bags. Seed bags are basically yen, because the more seed bags I have, the less often... Would you put what? He's gonna steal it if you're... Yeah, look, he... He took the key from me literally right when I got it. And, um... I was just being an idiot, I wasn't paying attention, I didn't realize that he even took the key from me. So now I know that he's going to take the key if I'm not careful, but don't worry, I will go, I will go, I will go quickly this time, and I will unlock the door to this place, oh crap, I can't just jump up this, thought maybe I could just jump up it, but I was fooled to believe such, such a thing, oh yeah, also at night time, places where you can dig are always going to be lit up, so it's a really great time to go looking for things that you can dig. But, um, since I don't have the next level of dig yet, I don't have the strength of the gods, apparently, I can't dig those things. So yeah, if you are eager to uh, unlock some secrets in this game and you're having trouble finding all the things you can dig, just go to an area at night and look around and you will see, like, everything that you can dig. So here we go! Into our second dungeon. In the game. Although... Yep, there we go. Suta ruins. And as you can see, there is that flying Konohana Blossom up there. Which probably leads you to believe... We're gonna have a way to get to those pretty soon. <laughs> and if that's what you believe, then you're right. That's a pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. Must have been here for ages. And what's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there, Furball. How about drawing some lily pads so we can check it out? Well, instead of drawing some lily pads so we can check it out, I'm going to save right here. And I'm going to end this episode. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.